Is the condition on? Oh, no, no, put two conditions there. No, no, we cannot, we don't accept. Please, I, I need two conditions. If there's no two conditions, I don't accept. Peace of Christ to all of you. Hamas is willing to agree to cease fire with Israel on two conditions. Senior official says, okay, what is the two conditions? We informed all parties that we would accept mutual ceasefire between Israel and Hamas with two conditions. Dr. Basim Naim said, a former Palestinian health minister who is now the head of Hamas International Relations Council, he told ABC News. What he told ABC News? He told ABC News Tuesday evening. The conditions is the following. One, Israeli forces must stop interaction or inter whatever, inter in, inter out, inter on top, inter side, inter internet, Al Aqsa campground, and respect the site. Okay. Eight hours after. Israeli army, actually not police, because police for them is the army. Enter Jerusalem Temple Mount and confiscate Palestinian flags. Actually, it was not Palestinian flags, it was Hamas flag. So if you go right now in the news, you will see the Muslims are so upset. Allahu Akbar, Israel is entering the ground. Look, what, what, what do you mean they enter the ground? Brother, are you serious? Hamas gave them a warning that we will not. Look, 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 this is Al-Quds News Network. This is Muslim, this is Hamas News Network. Breaking news, the Israeli occupation soldiers were injured in clashes with Palestinian protesters occupied the West Bank. Okay, so they are now inside the Aqsa Mosque. Where is Hamas? Aren't you supposed to start throwing missiles because they entered the Aqsa Mosque? Here we go. They are back second day, not even eight hours. Because you break the law. You have no right to put your flag there. Terrorist flag. Update at Jazeera TV. Israeli forces have injured dozens of Palestinian worshippers at the Aqsa Mosque in the occupied East Jerusalem. Allahu Akbar. Okay, where is Hamas? Where is the one who yesterday were playing victory? Because if you cease fire in the condition of what you claim, you coward liar, then you should attack again. Because is it, this is the condition? If they ever enter Al-Aqsa Mosque, you will shoot your muscles again? Here we go, eight hours they are in the mosque. Which is not a mosque anyway, this is their temple. Actually, I'm so glad that this has happened right away to get them busted with their lies. In the last 10 hours, all the Muslim posting online that they have victory. Uh, what is the victory? We stopped the Israeli from entering the mosque of Al-Aqsa. Uh, that's not true. This is their ground, and this is their country, and this is not a mosque. This is a temple. Here it's saying, uh, Samra, she is a Muslim uh, version, she said, this is not ceasefire, never is. Israel will continue to kill Palestinians by the land, sea, and the air coming days, week and months. We have to be united now. Imagine if we are Muslims united, Israel would not exist. You know, I, I like it what you said, uh, Samara. The funny, when you're Muslim, you st stop even killing each other. I mean, look who's talking about uniting. They start killing each other since the time of Muhammad. All the campaign of Muhammad were killed by Muslims. Even Muhammad, the grandsons, were slaughtered by Muslims. And this Muslim, she have a dream. If we are united, by the way, by the way, what, what Muslims united? The, you have a million sect and you hate each other to death and you want to kill each other. Actually, you hate each other more than you hate the Jews in the world. This is the truth. This is this is reality. This is why Emirat, Bahrain, and Saudi Arabia, they prefer to kiss the shoes of the Jews, but not to be friends with Iran. We know it. Anyway, please be united, because united or not, still nobody can get close to Israel. Continue. Uh, 
Israeli police attack Palestinian journalist. Mm -hmm. He's a journalist. Oh, okay. How they attack him? <laughs> they kick him out. <laughs> Look how they attack. Guys, if you watch the attack, you will die laughing. <laughs> he gave him a spank. <laughs> Hey, hey, Hamas, did you see they give they gave the guy a spank and you are watching Hamas? Where are you, Hamas? Come on. You allow you allow the Israeli soldier to give a spank to somebody and you are under your watch? Where is your missiles? I mean, this propaganda and this stupidity is amazing. Let us see more post, you know. Anyway, like, you know, they are they are really uh, making a lot of posts and this is just now. And look, supposedly. This is Hamas crushing Israel. <laughs> As I know that you did not even destroy one building. You could not even destroy a bathroom. In the best scenario, you made some fire somewhere. You destroy what? As I know that they are the one who demolished tons of your buildings and your towns. And now you will spend many, many years to rebuild them if you can. Anyway, I mean, always. I am feeling so happy that the last Palestine, the, the, at least Palestine are free from the severe situation, but it is still alarming that Israel police were still doing shitting. I know, you know, if I am Hamas and the Israeli, they enter Aqsa today and you are claiming that you are the one who protect the Aqsa, you should not, my friend, watch. Shame on you. You are a terrorist. And uh, you prove that you are a hero, supposedly, according to Muslims. Uh, end of Israel. Apartheid. You see, the funny is that the Muslims are the one who have signs in the highway, says Muslims only, all over Saudi Arabia. And they're claiming that the Israeli are the one is racist. Let me show you. <laughs> <laughs> if you go to to prophet google <laughs> and type muslim only mecca let us see who is a racist and let us see who is ugly and let us see who is disgusting you will not find in israel a sign says arab only and jewish only this is an order by the god of the muslims that should we have cities and roads and street and highway for Muslims only and there is streets for non-Muslims right do you see it so when they claim to be the always always this this religion and the followers of this religion they claim something and they are the one who do it they claim that Islam is against prostitution when Islam promotes prostitution. They claim Islam is against slavery when Islam is the origin of slavery. How, how many slaves Muhammad have? He raped them, he killed them. How many? All of Islam is based in slavery. The Caliphate, they used to have tens of thousands of belly dancers and they are slaves captured from their family. There's a books, Islamic books of law. It's called the books of slaves to buy and sell slaves as an example go to the book of Mustafa Ahmad and see how to buy a slave how to examine a slave how to uh, what to do with a slave how you can touch the the the, the women private part to, to check the, the slave uh, so they always speak about something when they are the one who practice it they claim the Israeli are racist when this is the most racist cult ever if you ask the Muslims the city of Al Basra used to have more than six hundred thousand black person between male and female, and this was a long time ago. How many we have now? Zero. What happened? We killed them all. And how those black people they came to the city of Al Basra in Iraq? Uh, slaves. But Islam is against slavery, brother. <laughs> Oh, what we can say it's a nice comedy and the fool only like you see in between the western by the way there's a lot of western like you see if you go to Ireland if you go to uh, Dundee you know Dundee they put the flag of Palestine Dundee stupid people of Dundee shame on you I mean 
where you got your education from idiots don't you know that those are not even Palestinians and those are occupation themselves and they enter this, this land in the seventh century don't you know I mean it take you two seconds to go right now and check on Google when the Caliphate Omar he entered this land and he put the pact of Omar which is the more disgusting ugly you see if I am a, if I am the in charge of Israel I will say to the Muslims who is more just in, in your history they will say Khalifa to Omar said okay wonderful I'm going to practice the pact of Omar on you he put it on us he's just right I'm going to do it to you and then you will see how they will cry and then you will see the hypocrisy will be exposed but the problem that this Israeli government they are very much moderate and very much politically, politically correct and this is their weakness the weakness of Israel is not their army, is not their economy. It is how much they want to be uh, westernized between you know people who don't believe in human rights. This is the truth. This is the truth. And when you see people from around the world keep saying that the Israeli occupation and you will find even some Jews, they say that Israeli occupation, we are supporting donkeys in those statements because this is not an occupation, this is their land. It is you who is the occupation. As an example, all of them, by the way, they support Hamas, but nobody do support Hamas. All of them, they are. And they are not convinced even of such a war. Like this guy, the Prime Minister of Pakistan, who keeps speaking about protecting Prophet Muhammad. How come he don't send his army to defend Hamas? You have nukes. He don't even dare to fart. What about Erdogan? Are you there, Erdogan? Here you notice, this is the speech, uh, this the leader of Hamas, Potato. By the way, I will show you a picture of the leader of Hamas before and after the fight. This is him before the fight. And this is him. Uh, let us see where where is the where is him after the fight let me let me find it i have too many pages open ah i found him and this is the leader of hamas after the fight and this is what happened to all of them after they fight israel hezbollah iran iran they never dare to fight uh, uh, israel anyway Israel is bombing Hezbollah and Iranian forces in Syria for the last few years, not only like a year or two. And Hezbollah promised that one day, one day we will respond and the day is coming. Just wait. This is what happened to them when they go in a fight with Israel. And each time they go in a fight with Israel, they claim victory and they claim that they are the one who put conditions. You know, by the way, he doesn't look like the leader of Hamas, to be honest with you. He looked like Erdogan. Somehow he is Erdogani thing, you know. I mean, Erdogan is so so much red. This is the guy who always says we cannot wait, we cannot be patient no more. Justice, we cannot watch injustice. And okay, Erdogan, what you did? Oh, uh, hello. The, the the king of Jordan. Hey, hello. Oh, the king of Jordan, he could not join the war because he was looking for his high heels shoes. You know, the poor guy, with my respect to short people, you know, he feels so much, he's not self-confident, you see, because you're, how tall you are is not what makes you a man or not. But this guy, because he is not confident, he wear the most high heels shoes ever, which make me laugh at him. I mean, okay, you are short, so what? Wear normal shoes like every man. Why you want to wear high heels? So he wear very high heels and then his, he make his pant long. But then when you go in the stairs, everybody laugh. He look like a female wearing high heels and she's trying to be sexy. All of them, they are heroes. All of them, they are powerful. All of them, they are strong. You know? And this is what happened to them after the debate with me too. All of them, they claim victory. They get in with feather, they live without feather. Hey, Abdul, take your feather with you. <laughs> no, this is not my feather, it doesn't belong to me. <laughs> Abdul, what are you talking about? <laughs> you, 
just come on just take your feather and and you can glue it back it's okay no problem no no this is not my feather unbelievable so you notice here in the in the tweet in the tweet this muslim version by the way all of them are versions i assure you actually muhammad himself all his wives were versions do you remember the hadith that says the prophet he used to imagine himself having sex in fact he did not obviously they are versions <laughs> If they are not, Muslim, don't say they are not, because that would be a problem. You are accusing the prophet wives to be, you know, doing boom, boom behind the scene. If the prophet himself, he is imagining himself having sex, in fact, he did not. And if your prophet say that I used to be the most weak person between all mankind and boom, boom, and then I invoke Allah, and then he sent me a dish of shish kebab, and I ate it, I get the power of 40 men. If this is what your prophet is saying, so what is the proof that Muhammad even can have boom, boom? So you want to do boom, boom with Israel? Look what it says here. Uh, this uh, version, what her name? Uh, what is that name? This is not an Arabic name for sure. You know, maybe she is a person who lives in somewhere, you know, I don't know. Uh, so look what he said. Hamas leader Ismail, Ismail, Ismail Haniya thanks Qatar. Okay, Qatar for what? Uh, they are the one who give them money. Uh, and Egypt for ceasefire. You are thanking them for ceasefire, you coward. You should say shame on you to ask for ceasefire. We are victorious. <laughs> Have you ever heard of somebody claiming victory in a war and then he is thanking people for ceasefire? Yeah, it happened if he's not in yellow. I would agree. <laughs> anyway, continue. Uh, and then you will see here it says that he is thanking Don he, and he thanks Iran for sending the weapon. He thanks Iran to send money and weapon. Read with me carefully. And he thanks exclusively for the weapon and funding from Iran. No mention of Turkey or any other Islamic country whatsoever. So there's only Qatar and Iran are sponsoring Hamas. Shame on you, Muslim countries. The Shia who they are kuffar for you are the only one who support Hamas. What a disgusting religion. Muslim Sunni, you are you are you are ashamed for your religion. So all what you do, you shout in the screen, Allahu Akbar, or you attack two guys walking in the street in New York because they are Jews, and you were like three hundred cowards. Two two Jews against hundreds of Muslims attacking them. And guess what? Now those who they are attacking them, they will spend many years in jail. I'm so happy for them. You see, they think if they are, you know, the, uh, uh, my experience with those people when they are too many, suddenly they became so brave, you know, when they, like when you are alone and they are like 10, you will see an amazing bravery. Everybody will attack. But if it's the opposite, they are cats. But my friend in America, you cannot do that. You want to attack a Jew? because he's a Jew and you carry something heavy you want to hit him with it that is attended murder so those who attack those two Jews maybe those two Jews get injured in their face for you know a few, a few hit here and there but the one who attacked them they would have a lot of time to spend playing chess in the US uh, prison which is very fun so here it says clearly that Turkey did not do anything Egypt itself did not do anything. It's just asking both to, please, can we stop fire? Qatar is the same. Saudi is the same. All Islamic countries are watching. The only one was funding and giving, let us say, weapon. I believe Qatar is funding big time too. Uh, but the major one, as you see, it is Iran. Here we notice how much defeat Islam has. Because Iran is a Shia and according to Muslim, Shia or Kuffar, they are not even Muslims. So how come those Muslim and Erdogan is a Muslim Brotherhood and Hamas is a Muslim Brotherhood? How come Erdogan don't dare to send weapon and money to Hamas? That is a very good question. The answer is very simple. Turkey is not a free country. Erdogan is just a shouting machine. Is an empty drum make too much noise but there's nothing inside one needle will make it bubbles so 
what we see in front of us is a big exposure for the lies of those who claim victory. Few hours after the ceasefire, and those people they claim that they accepted the ceasefire only, only if the Israeli never ever entered the Aqsa Mosque again. This is the victory Hamas is claiming. Otherwise, they could not kill anybody. I mean, they, they, the, the total uh, people who get killed in Israel, they are four Jews, the rest are not. Even Hamas, they killed more than 22 Arab Muslims when the missiles which they send in on the air, the missiles, they fear on them. Can you believe it, how stupid this organization is? So, after losing hundreds and hundreds, and not to mention how much money you lost, and how many buildings you lost, and how many towns you were building for years and years destroyed, and they destroy your communication centers, you destroy all your equipment, and now you have to rebuild from, from zero. After all of this, they claim victory, and when they are the one, they were begging for it. If you go back and see in the last 11 days how many Biden he called, uh, you know the thing, Joe Biden, you know, he called uh, Netanyahu, says, hey, Netanyahu, can you cease fire? Netanyahu, he says, why? He says, you know the thing. Uh, and then Netanyahu, he says, you know, you know the thing. Okay, well, I know the thing. The thing is that I'm going to screw this Hamas. Okay, Joe Biden, he hang up. The second day, he call again. You know the thing, you know, come on, we have to stop fire. So who is the one who is begging for ceasefire? It was you. And when they accept ceasefire, not because of you, because many, they are begging for it. You claim to be a hero. And then you put conditions, you claim, and those conditions, they are not real, they are false. Because all of us, we knew that the ceasefire was not in under any conditions. This is the agreement, which means we agree about not to agree about anything except stop, we stop. As simple as that. There's no ceasefire under any conditions. They lie. But there is, is that something new? No. This is what we do, they do always. Uh, This is what the news published yesterday and everybody saw it. It says, official says ceasefire has no conditions regarding Jerusalem. Do you see it? So when you claim that you have a victory, what is your victory based on? Here we go, the Israeli second day they are entering the Aqsa for a very simple reason. Number one, this is their land. Number two, this is their temple. Number three, you are putting the flags of the terrorists in the top of it. So when they claim victory, we laugh. And it make it more funny that this has happened less than eight hours after they claim victory, that the Israeli army are entering the Mount Temple, which is not belong to the Muslims. And we show you many proofs, even from Muhammad himself, the first terrorist, Muhammad, he made it clear that this is a temple built by David and his son Solomon, as you see. Even the coward Muhammad, the biggest terrorist, he could not deny that this is a city and this is a temple built by the Jews. So my friend, I'm not going to keep you longer. I'm so happy that the Israeli prove that they were victorious. And again, prove it happened. You see, it is the it is those terrorists who made the, the I mean, sometimes you ask yourself how much they help Israel to prove that they are right. And to prove that those terrorists, they are in bad, bad fear. How in one day you say, we are going to accept ceasefire under one conditions. If you don't enter the Aqsa, lying to your people when everybody, everybody knows that Israel agree with no conditions lying to your people saying if they enter the Aqsa again 
And not only that, if they enter the Aqsa and if and there's two conditions, which mean any, you break any of them, we are going to attack with the missiles. If you enter the Aqsa again, the ground of Aqsa, we are going to shell you again. Okay, second day, eight hours after, the Israeli forces is inside the Aqsa and enter now Hamas don't dare to fart. Because guess what? If Hamas now dare to fart, it's going to be horrible for them. Now nobody can ask Israel why and what you will do. Do you understand? So this will be really for the benefit of Israel at the end. Because we accept it and now let us see what they will do. If they break the ceasefire, then Israeli army will do what they need to do. Which before many they were blaming them for doing extreme harsh attack. The harsh attack did not happen, never happened actually. Israel should take Gaza in ground, not by airplanes. This is the only way to grab those terrorists from their towns. They are like rats. And the funny is, the Quran says that the Jews are people who hide behind walls. But reality is that Muslim terrorists is the one who hide under the ground. ISIS they hide under the ground. Uh, Al Qaeda they hide under the ground. Osama bin Laden under the ground. Uh, uh, Saddam Hussein under the ground. I mean, all of you are under the ground. And then you claim that you are the one who is brave and you are the one who fight us face to face. Hey, by the way, how is face to face doing? Where is face to face um, heroes? We have a, a person, his name is Hussein. He says, Israel occupy the Palestinian land. Hey, well, Hussein, look like you're an idiot. Don't you know that the Quran says that this is the land of the Jews? It looked like you, your prophet and his messenger, they are a bunch of idiots. You see the stupidity of those people. They do not know even what their book says. Even your book says that this is the land of the Jews. Even your prophet, he says that. They took the Palestinian land. This is, those are not Palestinian. Secondly, it's not your land. Number three, the history says that you entered this land first time in the seventh century. And nobody there speak Arabic. And this is your stupid Quran saying this is the land of the Jews. Allah, he assigned it to them. Here I need to ask a question about the stupid Allah. I mean, don't Allah, he knew that this is not right? You see, they say to you, who started this conflict? The answer is there, Allah. Why the stupid Allah promised them this land? Why he don't promise them Alaska? It was empty. Nobody in Alaska. I mean, why the stupid Allah, he could not find the land other than this land to promise the Jews? Are you stupid Allah? Yes, he is stupid. What you can do? I mean, he's Allah. Obviously, Allah is working for the Mossad. I mean, this God, Allah, he loves money. Look, if you go in the Quran, you will see Allah saying the following. If we go here, <clears throat> just to show you how fun to be Allah. Hmm? Have you ever heard of a God? He is begging for donation. But what the heck? This is this is the same verse. Mimi uh, Hijab he was he was reciting after his debate with Mimi uh, with the, with David Wood. Who is going to give a mortgage for Allah? Who is going to give a mortgage for Allah? And he was begging people for money. Now, they take the money from you and they claim that this is for Allah. That's a good business. <laughs> and this is exactly what Muhammad did in his time. He claimed this is a, this is a, have you ever heard of a mortgage to Allah? I mean, isn't it, this is a God. He can say to the gold, to the, to the dirt be gold and the, the dirt will become gold. Have you ever heard of a who oh, want to give me mortgage to Allah? Hey guys, by the way, I want to buy a new car. Okay, who want to give mortgage to Allah? <laughs> My car is very old and very small. <laughs> I have a hard time to enter inside it. <laughs> yeah, this is one of the things I hate about my car. I have to squeeze yourself inside. So, who want to give a mortgage to Allah? Brother, sisters. Hello? Allah need mortgage. So the stupid Allah, he big for money. Is that why he was hypocrite to the Jews and he told them this is your land? Because the Jews have money? Maybe the Jews, they you know let him go free with his credit card. 
Otherwise, I challenge any Abdul to tell me why Allah, he says, this is the land I assigned to you. He did not say to just enter it. He said, I assigned. Look at the word assigned. It's kidding me. He Muslim, do you think we can take it off? I mean, this is very annoying. Assigned. I mean, come on. Come with something better. What about we say, uh, uh, you know, uh, rented, rented. No, we cannot put it there. That would be corruption for the Quran. But you cannot corrupt the Quran more than the Quran is corrupt. I mean, you corrupted many times already. Starting from the beginning, Muhammad himself is the biggest corrupt person. So even the stupid Allah, he says, this is the land of the Jews assigned to the Jews. Let me call Jack Shalom and tell him the good news. Hello? Christian Prince, why are you calling me? What the heck with you, Zach and Nick? I call Jack Shalom, you answer. What's wrong with you, man? Are you hijacking the network of the Jews or something? Christian Prince, first of all, other than me, I am a with. And I converted to Islam. What the heck? Zach and Nick, you used to be a Jew? Exactly. Do you have a proof? Okay, I will open my camera for you and throw you my penis. No, Zach and I don't do that. I don't want to see your, see your penis. Just keep it in your panty, okay? Christian Prince. I can prove it to you that I am a Jew. Like, how you can do that, man? You, how, you are okay. Where are you from? Uh, Zakir Naik, are you thinking? Um, Zakir Naik, where are you from? See, Zakir Naik, you cannot be a Jew and you are coming from Pakistan or India. You cannot, Abdul. Come on. I mean, come on, come with different lie. This is what we see. A person who lives in Pakistan, he claimed that Jerusalem belonged to him. A person who lives in India, he claimed Jerusalem belonged to him. And the person who built Jerusalem, it, Jerusalem does not belong to you. Do you see the stupidity, brother? Like, what the heck? What kind of intelligence mankind are suffering from? So Abdul in Somalia, Abdul in Indonesia, brother. Hey, Ustaz, Ustaz in Indonesia, where are you? Where is the Ustaz in Indonesia? Oh, they are here actually, hiding behind the uh, Hania. What is that? What's happening, man? Let us get some Ustaz here. Hey, Ustaz, is Jerusalem belong to you? Really? Okay, so why your prophet says the one who built it, it was uh, Solomon, the son of David and David? Oh, he got wrong information. Ah, fake news. I think you learned that from Trump. Uh, fake hadith, weak hadith, weak hadith. Is it weak hadith? Yes, it's a weak hadith. Uh, you idiot. No, it's not weak. Here we go. It says sahih. Potato. It says sahih. What's wrong with you Muslims? Uh, it's, you know what? It is you who is weak. You claim always victory in TV, but in reality, you are the, you know, okay, you know what? <clears throat> Forget about this. I mean, we have to be somehow, excuse my English, you know. You know, when I see when I see them, those stars, I lose my skills in English, sorry. Hey, hold on. We have to be, <clears throat> okay, we have to be realistic. <laughs> What kind of English is that? You know, by the way, do you know that they offer me to teach English in Stanford University? Yes, brothers and sisters. Uh -huh. I mean, look at this religion. In debate, they lose their feather. In discussion, they don't dare to discuss. In war, they are the worst. In economy, the economy is so bad, except the ones they have oil, and this oil, when they will go. It's not because they are smart and genius. I mean, the ground have oil. I mean, name one thing for me they are successful with. And all of them, my brother, they are proud to be Muslim, but they are willing to die to cross the ocean to come to Europe, to the land of Kufar, brother. The disgusting people who eat pork. We want to come to their land, brother, because their life is so good, brother. Not like in Pakistan, or like a brother, like in Bangladesh, or like brother in Syria, brother, or like in Iraq, brother, or like Yemen, brother, or even Emirat. 
they are so so proud roosters who have no feather a lot of respect so I want to say thank you guys for being here don't forget to unsubscribe if in case you did subscribe already hit the bomb of unsubscribe if you are already subscribed and if you are a Muslim you can do jihad and subscribe to my uh, YouTube and then unsubscribe and that will make you lose your fizzer, you know, and uh, claim victory. Allahu Akbar. Look, the numbers of subscribers of Christian Prince is by the way, this is not one of my accounts. I have many accounts, so don't worry about the account. I don't care for subs subscriptions because my videos don't stay even here. Hmm? I have people who download my videos, they have way more subscri subscribers. I mean, this English is funny. I'm going to change it. Okay, this is German. This is easy, easier. So, uh, my friend, I'm so happy for you that you are victorious. And I hope every time you go in war, you will be victory. Like, you have victory like this. Unbelievable. Like, you lose half of your town, a lot of your fighters, and then you kill four old people in Israel. And that is victory. Honestly, this is the best victory ever. Based on this victory, if every time you send 4,000 missiles at Israel, you kill four Israeli, that means victory is so close. One of the funny I saw in the news, that Hamas, they send missiles, and they fell down in this area. <laughs> and more than 22 people, they died. And they are, you know, they are Arab. You chip it. You are attacking the enemy, or you are attacking your people. Oh, I forgot to tell you that our missiles—they are like a balloon. The second you take the air from the back, from the back, they go in every direction. <laughs> they come back to us too. <laughs> so yeah, I'm so glad that Hamas have a victory, my friend. I mean, come on, look—they killed uh, t ten people. 10 people in Israel. Three of them, they are foreigners, or four. One from South Africa, one from Nigeria, I think, and one from Thailand. I forgot. Anyway, anyway, but they are foreigners. They work in Israel. And then the rest, they are three or four. They are Arab. They are Muslims. So what is left? Three, four Israeli you killed? So all those thousands of rockets, they end with killing three Israeli? Or four, or even five? In the other hand, they killed hundreds of your fighters. In the other hand, because of you, many poor civilians, they died, including women and children. Yet they claim victory. And what make it more horrible, that they claim that they put conditions on Israel. This is what they say to their own citizen to fool them. We, brother, we put conditions on Israel that if you ever, 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 eh, eh, let me continue whatever forever, but ever, 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 enter the Aqsa Mosque, brother, we are going to shoot at you. The Israeli army, they enter the Aqsa Mosque just second, second day, less than eight hours after, and Hamas don't dare to fart. So, Muhammad. Who is the victorious? Who is the victorious? The admin asking me to make the chat a slow mood. Why? Let people celebrate victory. <laughs> Especially if they are Muslims. This is the only thing they can do. They, can, they shout. Nobody shout like them. They shout for everything. Unbelievable how much they shout. brother they have like a marathon in shouting and they think by shouting they are the stronger and they, they have a very loud voice even their prayer is shouting this is the only religion they shout at Allah and they shout at themselves and they shout at their children and they shout at the enemy they say to Allah Allah Akbar they say to Shaitan Allah Akbar they say to the enemy Allah Akbar and then Allah is not Akbar and is not helping them this is the only religion they fight shaitan by throwing rocks. Have you ever heard of religion? They go throw rocks at shaitan. Hey, Abdul, do shaitan live in that house? Yes, brother, this is the house of shaitan. What the heck? 
Shaitan, he live in the same city where Allah, his house is. They are neighbors. Let us go and throw rocks at the Shaitan. Really? Yeah, and let us gather by tens of thousands and throw rocks. Look, look at this, look at this. Look at this religion. Unbelievable. Okay, brother, where is the shaitan, brother? What is this? Like, what, what the heck? Brother, shaitan, look at this guy. Hold on, let me show you this guy. This guy is he's a try to sight, eye sight in the shaitan. Look, 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 look. Look, look. Did you see him, brother? Hey, brother, did you see the shaitan? Uh, what a religion. I'm so proud to be a Muslim. Very convincing. There's no superstition there. And they have like a column in the middle. Look at this guy. He want to climb to hit the shaitan. And he's bold. I hope this is not a, a Sam Shamu. Is that Sam Shamu? Is Sam Shamu. What are you doing there, man? You are climbing to hit with what? To hit the shaitan. And look, look, look at the house of the shaitan. It's a column in the middle. Look at this. Unbelievable. What is this column? It used to be little rocks. And now it became a concrete. This is the house of shaitan? <whistles> shaitan, he have a nice view of Mecca. They built his house in the top of the hill. He said every day, drink coffee, you know, laughing at those people who come in throwing rocks at him. <laughs> Abdul, he immigrated long time ago. Isn't it you Muslim, you say that the big shaitan is America? So why are you going there? Like, hello? Look at this guy, he's so tired from throwing rocks at the shaitan. Oh boy. Yeah, let us show you actually where they, they throw the rocks. Let me show you here. This is not where. Let me make it more clear for you what we are talking about. What a joke. Here we go. This is the house of Shaitan. This is the official uh, house. It used to be small rock before. Let me show you here. It used to be this one. And then, I mean, people, you go there, by the way, half of the rocks, they will fill in your head, the same as Hamas rockets. They don't even hit the shaitan. I mean, the, the, the guy who is 20 meters away or 50 meters away, he want to throw the shaitan. He have to he have to, uh, to throw certain rocks, certain numbers of rocks. If you don't do that, his, his religion is not accepting that. He have to do it, otherwise your hajj is not valid. So they go there. Look, look, this is the old rock. Hold on. We found it. Look at this. Look how small it is. It was like a, a, a column made of rocks. And they come and they throw little rocks at, at this column. And this is supposedly where Shaitan he live. And then after time, the, 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 the uh, Saudi government, they find that this business is doing great because they are selling rocks. In the same time, it's hard later to clean the rocks. So what they did, they created this. Look at this engineered by the American. A big dish, satellite dish, and the, and the column of the stone is, is there. Look at this. And then you throw the rocks, and they go down the stairs, and then the trucks take them. And then they put them back for them. <laughs> Technology. And not only that, even they made many floors. Look, there's a floor number one, floor number... This is a floor number two. Or three, I'm not sure which one. So, it depends where you want to you wanna throw the rock from the top, or throw it from the second floor. How you want to throw the rock? This religion, there's no superstition there. Satan, he lived there. And I saw him. Actually, if you use x ray, you will look at this one. Look. look. I see Zach and Nike. Benny, look at this. What is that, man? What kind of religion we are talking about? What is this? Look, 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 look. So, and look, they changed it even. They made it like the, 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 the ship, that submarine. I want to know how the rock, who used to be a column, became a submarine. 
Do you see the development of Islam? It was a little column. It's not even you know 20 by 20 centimeter. Then it became 40 by 40. Then became three meter by three meter. Then became two, three, four, five floor. And then they became submarine. Look at this. And what make it more funny is when the leader of Hamas, he go there and he throw his rocks. <laughs> now I know why your rockets are not hitting anything. You practice your first rockets there. Look at this, man. Is that a Russian submarine? Wow, look at this. Very advanced religion. No superstition there. Shaitan, he lived there. Hey, Muslim, did you ask yourself, like when those guys, they destroy the old building or the old cannon for Shaitan, and they build the concrete, isn't it? This is haram. I mean, you are changing religion. Did your prophet allow to build this concrete like this? And where is the original house of Shaitan? You took it off. Can I get the stones so I can sell them on eBay? <laughs> Anyway, uh, I want to say thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And we are making fun of a stupid religion. I feel sorry for you Muslims. We don't hate you. And I will never hate them, actually. Even they, they shout, they want to kill us, you know, terrorists. This is a religion of terrorism. It's not a secret. But at the same time, there's a lot of Muslims. They are victims of this cult. They are being deceived. They've been lied to. And they think at the end of the day, they think that they, we are the bad and they are the good. You need to remember that. So this is why our duty here is to show them that you are wrong, my friend. Islam is evil. Islam is ugly. You might be a Muslim and a good person. But if you are a Muslim by name, a true Muslim is someone who believed that what Muhammad said and Muhammad said to kill all the Jews. That is not making you a good person. Muhammad says to kill all the Christians. That will not make you a good person. Muhammad, he says to kill anyone who don't believe in Allah and his messenger. That will not make you a good Muslim. A good person, sorry. That will make you a good Muslim if you believe in it. Which means a good Muslim is someone who believes in what the good Muhammad says, according to Muslim. He's good. But the good Muhammad is a very evil man. So if you want to be a good person, you better not to follow Muhammad. However, don't forget to go and throw your rocks. Right? Uh... Look at this uh, a Palestinian person. He is saying his name is the army of Muhammad. The army of Muhammad. Look how look look how peaceful Muhammad is. He, he have an army. You see the the the, the peace the peaceful prophet. Look what he's saying. Just to show you the hypocrisy. You are justifying the killing of millions of innocent Palestinians. You know? Do you know that the biggest brigade by Hitler it was Muslim brigade from Bosnia and Albania. Albania. They are the one who were killing the Jews and they killed millions of Jews. Do you know that your prophet, he slaughtered huge tribes of the Jews and he did genocide to the Christian and the Jews in the Arabian Peninsula? So if you, are a, if you are a true person, how come it's okay for you to kill the Christians and to kill the Jews? How it's okay for you to kill millions of them? But when they fight you back, they are bad. You are a coward and you are a hypocrite. Isn't it this is your prophet saying? Time will come and the Muslims will kill every Jew. Is that your prophet saying that? Huh? So you are against killing of millions or you are supporting killing of millions? This is how hypocrite this religion is. They are the most disgusting cult. They kill you and they go on your funeral. They slaughter millions and they claim they are the victims. They support a terrorist, his name is Muhammad, and they claim that Israel is a terrorism country isn't it your prophet he says i was victorious by terror isn't it your prophet he says if i am you know they ask him is it okay to kill the children of the kuffar the jews the christian he said yeah sure they are they are of them read the hadith in front of you they are from them kill them isn't it your prophet who made the jews take off their pants and the one who have little hair if he's a boy he slaughter him and we can show you the reference. How many millions you killed? What happened to the Jews? How come the Jews, they are still little number? Oh, because you joined Hitler, Aka Muhammad. This is your prophet killing the Jews. 
children. This boy here, he explained why he was not killed. If he had little hair around his pubic area, he was slaughtered. He was lucky he don't have any hair yet. This is your prophet story. So they kill, they slaughter, they take your land. This is not your land. Syria is not your land. Iraq is not your land. Egypt is not your land. There is nothing is called Palestine belong to you. Even your God never mentioned it. Even your God in chapter 5 verse 21 says, this is a land assigned, I assigned to the Jews. And then the coward, they come and they say, how you support killing of millions. Cowards. Coward. Ah, they decide their own. Uh, okay, guys, it was their own fate to be killed. You know, like, I mean, the prophet was very peaceful. Uh, uh, what about Khoraiza? <laughs> what about the rest? <laughs> Coward son of Muta. The follower of the Muta prophet. Your prophet, he says, if I am victorious, his dream is to do genocide for every single Christian and Jew. Every single one. And let me show you the reference, coward. He said here, is that your prophet saying what he is saying? That he will expel, which means he will kill anyone who stay, the Christians and the Jews from the Arabian Peninsula, and this is what he did. Not a single Christian left, not a single Jew left. What if, the, what if the Jews, they practice what your prophet said? What if Netanyahu, he said, I'm going, if I am victorious, I will expel, expel every single Muslim or Arab from this land. You will say, how disgusting, coward, unbelievable. But your prophet doing it, it's okay. For you are a coward. You are a hypocrite. You are a double stander. You are the devil. You are the devil who claimed to be victim. You kill them and you cry. You go in their funeral. You play victim as usual. And this is what your prophet did. I'm going to expel every single Jew from the Arabian Peninsula. Right? So my friend, we are here to expose you and expose your lies. And millions, they watch my videos and they die laughing at the stupidity of your prophet and your religion. And actually, this is my challenge. I am a Christian prince. I invite any Muslim scholar. If you have the courage and the knowledge to let me call him or he call me anytime. If you can find me one brave of you, they are to debate with me and let the people be the judge muslim watch christian watch jewish watch hindu buddha whatever let everybody see you don't dare because simply you know that your religion is the most stupid one let me summarize for you islam before we leave for today islam is a religion based on the following if you kill for the sake of allah allah will make your penis very long thank you very much I'm happy with the size I have. I don't want to have endless penis. That will be a problem. Number one, termite will eat it. Number two, the Chinese will cut it pieces and they will say it in the market as sausages. Number three, it's stupid to believe that you are going to have endless penis, you idiot. Number four, Allah promised you a vagina fit for that. How fat your wife will be if your penis is endless and her vagina fit for that. This is Islam. Penis, vagina, killing, and drink wine, and having fill of big boobs. Have you ever heard of a God he promised us big boobs? The booby God? I mean, what kind of God this God is? I'm so amazed, by the way, about how big they are. And the funny is that Allah is very specialist or specialized in decoration. So he will give you women who they have big boobs and next to it, but wiser. I mean, look, this God, to be honest with you, he knew what make big boobs more beautiful. Drink and big boobs next to it. Look at this religion. Look at this heaven. Hamas, they go to fight Israel, not to get 
Victory to get big boobs. I love this God. This God, he knew what men like. Look how, look how nice this God is. Hey, Christian prince, join my religion. Join Hamas and die for the sake of Allah, fighting the Jews, and this is my reward for you. Oh, I have delivery from uh, uh, Amazon. No, it's not Amazon. It's better, way better. Are you kidding me? Way better than Amazon? Exactly. Like how better? I'm telling you. It is only describe it for you. It is round. Like what do you mean around? Is that like a ball? Not exactly. Okay. Is it too? So what is that? Okay. I will make it very simple for you. Okay. It's boobs. Like what the heck? So you will send me women with big boobs. Christian Prince, I did not say women, I said boobs. What the heck? I will get boobs walking by themselves? <laughs> That's fantastic. Look, at, I'm looking at the door of my room. I see two boobs coming. What is the woman? Like, what the? Walking boobs? Walking boobs down the street? Walking down the street. La 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 la. La 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 la. Very, very, very big boob. This is religion and this is God, and you want to convince us that you have God and you have a prophet, you idiot. If this is God, what is a pimp? Huh? If this is God, imagine if I go downtown now and I say, hey people, I'm Prophet Muhammad, believe in me, I will give you big boobs. How many believers I will have, especially after the middle of the night when everybody is drunk? This is religion. I'm very confused. This is a religion of boobs or religion of God. That's a fantastic God. Eh, anyway, thank you Allah for the big boobs and uh, every single member of Hamas who died fighting Israel today. Now, right now, as we speak, they are playing with boobs. How fun. Now I know why Hamas claiming victory. Not because they killed the Israeli, because they killed only four, but because they will have boobs. It's the boob day. This is my dream, my dream come true. And what make it more, even more crazy, Muhammad, he claimed that if you believe in Allah and you fight for him or you became a Muslim and you go to heaven, he will give you women who you can see through their bones. And to be honest with you, I cannot wait to get women who they can see through their bones. Look at this, look at this. <whistles> Muhammad, he swear by Allah. He swear by Allah that each one of those women, they will be, you can see through their bones. Look, look at this hadith, how beautiful it is. And this is Sahih Bukhari. So they cannot say this is not true. Have you ever heard of fancy, fitchy, sexy, beautiful, promise of God? I love it. I mean, I don't know how come you cannot love it. Are you blind? Are you blind? You look blind. But I have a solution for your blindness. I will show you this and then you will not be blind no more. Look at this. He swear by Allah that you will have whore women. They are so beautiful, pure and transparent that the marrow of their bones of their legs will see through because Muhammad is a racist. He is obsessed with white women. So he made them so white to the point they are transparent. And this is the result. Look how sexy. Look how beautiful. Brothers and sisters, if you like to get this, subscribe to the religion of Allah. Free sipping and handling. Join your fight against Israel so you can get those virgins. And by the way, the Prophet said, each time you make them lose their virginity, Allah, he will put his finger there. I will not tell you where. <laughs> I'm shy, come on. Don't, don't force me. No. Okay, there knows. I mean, there's a hole somewhere. Don't push me more. Okay, it's, uh, that's it. I can't say more. So Allah, he will put his finger there and he will make them virgin again. Brother, imagine this.
Look at this. I cannot resist. Oh, look at this position. That is something. So when you say to me we have a religion, when you speak about justice, when you speak about dignity, when you speak about loyalty, I mean you fail in everything. There's nobody betray each other as Muslims. You are the one who killed the caliphate. You are the one who killed the grandsons of Muhammad. And you are the one who even killed Muhammad according to the Shia. It is you who killed each other for centuries and centuries. And right now, in Syria, right now, in Yemen, right now, in Somalia, right now, in Iraq, right now, in Libya, right now, everywhere. It's not the Jews are killing you. And you are a coward and you are a liar. Nobody kill Muslims as much Muslims kill Muslims. This is the truth. Stop playing victim. Ah, but this reminds me of your prophet who he said, if there's no Jews, there's no food will decay. So you inherited this stupidity from your prophet and his hatred to the Jews. Your prophet, he claimed that if there's no women, there's no, there's no, if there's no Eve, no woman betray her husband. And if there's no Jews, there is no food will decay. Do you see it? So the reason we have refrigerator is because of Jack Shalom and uh, Benjamin Netanyahu. This is why we have refrigerator, otherwise the food will never damaged. And the funny Muslim, they say we don't believe in the original sin. Yet Muhammad is claiming that it is Eve, the reason for every woman to be bad. Hey women, you're bad. You're bad. You betray your husband. Hey Muhammad, so why you have 30 of them, 50 of them, 20 of them, 600 of them? They're bad. What's wrong with you? They are bad when we have as many as we. Even in heaven, you promise him, we promise them women. And the funny Muhammad, he claimed that the majority of heaven is men. This is what he said in the hadith. But how they will be the men if every man at least will have 70 women, you idiot? So the, the, the ratio will be at least 70 to 1. Stupid. Anyway, I better go. As you know, I have an I have an injury. One of the missiles of Hamas fell in my side, and I have like missile. Uh, what they call it? Missile what? Muscaline. Muscaline. I don't know what they call it. It's like it hurt really. Like when I walk now, you should see how. I, okay, I will explain to you how I walk now. I walk like Hamas after the fight with Israel. <coughs> no, not that bad. I mean, but it was very very bad in the first day. Second day, it's better because now I'm drinking camel urine and I ate seven ajwa and that making me feel so strong. And not only that, you should see what happened in other field, which I cannot mention because it's very secretive and it's not allowed to mention in YouTube. Brothers and sisters, thank you very much for believing in Allah and his religion and for supporting Hamas, which claiming victory over Israel, but and they made conditions on Israel that if you enter Aqsa again, we are going to launch an attack on you. And this is the promise we keep all Always, we keep our promises and then the Israeli eight hours after they enter Aqsa and Hamas is not there uh, where is Hamas uh, Hamas is resting uh, you know after 11 year, uh, days of hiding in the tent or sleeping like hello like, what's wrong with you hey Hamas you said if they enter the Aqsa you will launch attack again they are there you idiot wake up somebody call Hamas Somebody call Hamas. Uh, last word to say, look like Hamas became Hamas. And who can say Hamas is not good? I like Hamas. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. This is your brother Christian Prince was just reporting some news. And the news is hilarious. Take care. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And Hamas became Hamas. Thank you, Israeli army. Bye-bye.